Well, hey guys, this is George Adventure here again. Uh, still up here on the uh, management area on public land. Uh, so, uh, ooh, a little stiff this morning. Uh, but anyway, I'm out here. Uh, it's a cloudy day. Sun's trying to break through, but it's it's pretty. It's actually about 65 degrees, believe it or not. Uh, that's typical Georgia weather. You never know. It may be may be January and be 20 degrees. Could be December be 20 degrees, or it could be 70 degrees. But that's what our typical weather is. You know, just week by week it could be different. But I'm glad it's 65 degrees because I'm out. It's not raining. We got some rain coming coming in. I think in a couple of days. But I'm up here, and behind me is the road I came in on. Uh, it goes on straight, it goes way back in here in these woods. But I've turkey hunted some of this, but so I uh, hadn't seen any turkeys. I'm just kind of stopping and I've been sitting in the truck a little bit, sitting on the tailgate, just kind of watching because I can see down in these big deep hollers. So I'll sit here and I'll cut the truck off usually, but and just watch and listen. But, but I wanted to do uh, a video on this. Uh, this is a pygmy falcon too and i i did a video on this believe it or not eight years ago so this bag is the one i i keep in my truck here it goes in my truck uh so i've got some stuff in it and this is the one i usually if i'm hiking or whatever i usually carry and i know it's not one of the real 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 lightweight ones but uh it's a good pack it's heavy duty uh so, you know, you can get a good bit of stuff in it. It's not going to, you're not going to get enough stuff for two, three, four days, maybe a couple days, but you're not going to get enough for, uh, uh, you know, a week. You know, this is a good day pack, maybe a day and a night because you can put, you could put your tent on top. You can put your, your sleeping bag on the bottom uh, if that's why you prefer to sleep. Uh, I'll carry me a uh, uh, hammock. But, uh, so... I just kind of wanted to go over a little bit. It's, it's a pygmy, pygmy falcon too. Uh, these things are well made. Uh, you can see it's a pig, it's a Max Expedition. Uh, it's got a lot of little storage uh, compartments on it, and and ropes and strings and all that good stuff, the elastic stuff. So I keep my I keep my saw here, my little wicked saw. I'm not gonna take it out. It's a wicked saw. I've got a I've got a uh, pouch right here, and I wanted to show you what I have in this pouch because to me it's one of the most important thing, one of the most important things you can carry with you when you're in the woods. And I carry this I carry this with me turkey hunting every time I go, you know, especially especially up here. It's always with me. It's either in my pants, my turkey vest, or in this pack. Especially if I go turkey hunting up to Cahutta. But this is a personal locator beacon. Uh, smart people carry these. Smart people carry these because if you're if you're by yourself, and I do hunt by myself a good bit, uh, hunt with my brother some. But if, if you if you get if you get out and you're in the mountains hiking by yourself, or if you're up here turkey hunting, uh, you need to take one of these. And I think the batteries are five years, so I'm coming up. I'm coming up, and and uh, I need to I need to get my batteries changed. Uh, so uh, I need to I need to get that done. Uh, I think you can carry it to REI, but I know the batteries are due, so I've got to carry it up there. Uh, but you gotta, you gotta check it pretty often anyway, but this also has a, you know, a little place for a carabiner or, or, a, you know, lanyard or something you can tie onto your pack. I just keep mine in this little Max Expedition pouch here. Uh, so don't even, don't even think about going by yourself without buying one. Of these. these are about 300 bucks. You can probably catch them on sale, but it's a good, it's a good safety item when you're in the outdoors very good safety item and this little pouch i don't have anything in it but you can put you can put some little things in here a flashlight probably a couple pins uh 
these things, you know, they're designed good. Uh, they're heavy duty. Uh, also carry, carry this. Uh, has a little, has a little multi-tool, a little screwdriver tool. Uh, Swiss, it's called a Swiss Tech. I've got a couple of these. I've got one on my key ring, but it's got different size uh, screwdriver bits. You can see it's got it's got four. You can see the little small ones in the in the middle. And I carry a carry a CPR mask. It's a little small mask. Uh, I've done CPR before a couple times, so I believe in these things, and I carry it right here. I also carry this. This is a phone case, and I think I'm going to put my locator. I'm going to put my locator in it. And I've got a little first aid kit inside uh, inside my pack, and I think I will move it. I think I will move it to here. I think I'll make my, put my first aid items in here. That way they're within. I can get to them because they're on the outside of the pack. This thing has a couple of, of water bottle pouches right here. A couple of water bottle pouches you can use. Uh, you know, and I know I'm being bad. I don't have, I got some water in this cooler, but you see how they fit. You can carry two in there. It's always good to carry a couple of waters. Uh, it's got the adjustable straps. Straps adjustable. Uh, got the chest strap which I don't normally use you know uh, I do have my pace count beads but uh so it's got it's got this and you can adjust this this strap you can just take it and adjust it how tight it kind of keeps your load bound if you know what I mean and you can adjust these straps like this uh, and get it as tight as you want it. So it's got it's got the molly. It's got the molly right here. You can put a you can put another pouch here if you'd like. I've got some in my truck that I actually took off of here because I really I, I got plenty of room for what this pack is for. A couple molly straps uh, right here. I carry carry some extra one. Uh, but you got the you got the places to put it right here. So you can add, you can add another pouch or you can hang stuff from it or whatever, you know. Uh, actually, you could, you know, you could, you could hang, you could hang something on here like this. Just like that, if that's the way you wanted to do it. But I like having my CPR mask close here in the front where I can use it, I can grab it. But you know you can you could put you could put something else. You could even slide a knife down in there, a small knife. That's what you wanted. So it's got a it's got a zippered zippered pouch here. Uh, it's got good zippers. Uh, got a little paracord things on. Didn't come with them. So so got got me some food. Cliff bar. Uh, I've got. I've got a tourniquet right here. I always have a tourniquet. Cause what if I'm out here and I'm using a knife, okay? Or a friend of mine's using a knife and you stick yourself or cut yourself in your femoral artery or right here, right here, you know, you jab yourself self in a good artery. Uh, you know, you can pull your belt off, but it's better to have a tourniquet. So I got tourniquets. I got a tourniquet in my truck right here in my bag. I've got a first aid kit in my other vehicle. I've got a tourniquet. So I've got three tourniquets. So this is what I have in here. I've got, I've got little toothbrushes. I want to brush my teeth. I've got a uh, quick sharpener for my knife. Uh, Another sharpener. Got a compass. So I'm facing, I am facing, if I turn around the right way, 
I'm a fo I'm facing northwest. So, uh, got a compass. That's a good thing to carry. A couple quick sharpeners, and these things are nice, especially these little these little diamond. You can just hit this thing a few times. You can always use a rock, a flat rock with some water. If you, if you find some water, find a creek, or you got some water. If you don't have any way else, other ways to sharpen, you can use a flat rock and some water. That's no different than using one of those old stones I used to use in the old days, sharpen an ax on. It'll sharpen it. But I carry these, you know, they're good to have. Carry this Lansky. Just a little quick sharpener. Uh, I put these little items in here. Got a uh, glass, magnifying glass. We all know what that's for, right? Starting fires, okay? Got a pair of reading glasses. Another pair of reading glasses. You can always use them to start a fire. Uh, done it. We did it in the Boy Scouts. Uh, I'm gonna stick this little compass in here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put this compass in here. Uh, compass, compass is a necessity. A compass is a necessity. Don't leave home without it. And I have a map, which I don't have a map of this because I know this area pretty good. So take you a map with you, okay? And I'm putting this stuff back in this front pouch here, this little small pouch. So the next pouch you got, the pouch you have, is this one. This bigger one right here. And it, it unzips. I can find the zipper. It unzips all the way around see a lot of stuff in here this thing will hold a lot of stuff so i got a pair of gloves a pair of leather gloves why do you carry leather gloves well we're using knives building fires you don't want you don't want nylon gloves for building a fire for fire making fire starting you want some leather gloves just for doing any kind of camp chores uh Got a knife, got a condor knife. I usually have my SC, one of my SCs on me. This one stays in my pack. Uh, just a condor, carbon steel. Uh, got a tape measure. The reason I got the tape measure is to measure turkey beards, uh, trout, the length and stuff like that. So that's why I have that. Got a key to my house. Another key to my house. Uh, Toothbrush, I showed you some little small ones. I've got a little small first aid kit in here. Uh, got some, uh, I'm just dropping everything today. Pins, you can always use these for a fish hook if you had to. A little bit of string. Cleaning, cleaning wipes. Got some painkiller right here. Some Advil. And you got to check this stuff because this stuff expires. This stuff expires. This expires 2022. Uh, but it, you got to check this stuff. We got a few Band-Aids in here. I don't have nothing drastic, but I got a few Band-Aids. I just carried in this, but I'm going to, I am going to, I am going to move all this first aid kit to this little patch, pouch. So I got that. That's just a compass directions. I just put them in there. Got some more molly straps right here. Got another little strap. It's always good to have a little straps for stuff. So I could use this as a tourniquet. Uh, got hearing plugs in case I'm shooting. And got, I have me some cold weather stuff. I have this fleece. Head cover, you never know. And I've got an extra little bag here. This is just a sunglass bag, and I'm gonna put this in here. You can put little items in, in it. I'm gonna put this in here. It just kind of helps it keep keeps it organized. Uh, you can just slide little things down in it. You know, little pouches like this. It's just for sunglasses, but you can use it. You can use it for any other things, like these little straps. You know, you can put them in here. 
So just cinch down, okay? Got your cap, keep your head warm, keep that heat in, you're good to go. Uh, inspired, a little medicine, I'm gonna put it in here because I gotta, I gotta go through this. So, but you got that, more, more earplugs. Uh, and that's it in this inside pouch right here. You can see, you got this little inside pouch and this is it. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the rest of it down in here. Got a Sharpie. Sharpies are good, especially if you use a tourniquet you can write the time down. I've got a couple of them. Uh, I do have, do have some different things that I carry that are pretty lightweight. And I carry this because I am not an expert at foraging. I, I know some things you can eat. I know some mushrooms you can eat. But this is a handy thing to have in a pinch. You can you can use this as a guide. It's a good thing to have. They don't weigh nothing. Got another, another good little book here. Also, uh, this was the last time I was up at the Smokies. That's my mouth. You always want to carry your mouth. And emergency first aid, even though I've, I used to be a first aid trainer for the power company, I still carry this because you get excited or whatever. Plus, think about it, if you're if you're camping out or you're in the woods, you know, and you get bored, you got some good reading material right here. So you can use that. So I've got some dental floss here, which is good. You can always tie stuff up, but it's also, you know, keeps your teeth clean. I got this little Maxpedition bag. I love these Maxpedition bags. They're excellent. So you open it up, you can see in the front, what have I got? I got some fire. It's always good to have some fire on you. But you always want to check it. It works. I just slide it right down here in the front. So I've also got double A battery. I've got some triple A batteries somewhere. I got some Remington wipes in case your you know knife gets rusty. Scissors. Got a little sharpie. Little sharpie uh, pen. They they're handy to have. Uh, got some more Molly, another Molly strap right here. Also got a Jeff Randall Essie card in here. Another little handy handy item. It's good to have some, you know. Could I, I I you know to be an expert on something? I don't even know you know how many real experts you have in the world. But to be an expert, you got to know everything about everything, and I don't. So I don't consider myself an expert in much of anything. Uh, you can know a lot of things, but got this. This is this is a ferro rod, and I actually made the this part of it. Made it out of some yellow poplar. Uh, did the little wood burning on it. I actually made this bead. So I got this, I got a ferro rod. I got two ferro rods actually. I got one on that that uh, knife I was showing in that last video. Uh, so it stays in here. I got a little screwdriver. You never know, fix your glasses. And I've got, I've got some WD-40. So just a few little handy items. Uh, I've got in this bag right here and they make these bags right here in different different uh, they make them in different sizes and these little bags here they're handy to have man you, you can get so many different sizes you can put so many things in them I mean you can make a fire kit out of this actually I mean you can you can make a fire kit just for fire starting out of this little bag here uh, so, you know, they're, they're very durable. They hold up. It's just, just a fantastic little item. Item. It's a Maxpedition. They got different sizes, different colors. I like these things. I'm just checking behind me. Uh, so I'm going to put this stuff back in. Well, I'll wait till video though.
All right, so I got a big, I got a big main compartment here. Uh, holds a good bit of stuff. So I've got, I've got a fire cooking set. I've got a little fire kit, little mess kit, and that's how big it is. It's the clam shell, so it opens, it opens on up. And you can get to everything. So uh, I've got this little fire kit. This is a nice, nice fire fire kit. Got everything you need right here. Got a lid. You can boil water with this. You can cook your food, and in a pinch, there's your plate. You can use this as a plate. It's it's minimal. It's a minimalist type deal. And I'm gonna do a video of my box I got on my truck that I got this phone camera sitting on. Show you what I have in it. But I've got this. Uh, got a good bandana, you know. Love these things. These are good. These are good for many things. You know, wiping your face off, sweat. I've also got a. I've also got a. Uh, uh, hanky that I made or my wife made. I got one of these. They stay in my pocket all the time. These are good for wiping, you know, wiping your screen, your phones or whatever, sweat. This is good for sweat. And you can actually filter water with these if you need to. You can put this on a cup, pour it, pour it through, and you're good. Signal, whatever. Uh, so so I, use the, I use those. Uh, I've got a got an eating utensil and I'm gonna put me a I'm gonna put me a wooden one in here but I got this sports so uh good 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 eating utensil there and I can keep it on a little carabiner in here uh I've got a strop good another knife sharpening deal uh it's good to have uh, another good item I, I have in here. Handy little book to read. Handy little book. May get you through something, you know, if you're panicking. I keep that in here with this bandana. I just slide it in here and it goes. Uh, I've got a... got a plastic bag a couple of them what can you use a plastic bag for you can use them for a poncho you can put it on if you build a shelter you can put it put it over the shelter to keep some water out uh, got this sawyer got this sawyer water purification straw very important. Got a an emergency blanket. Another important thing. Good thing to have if you're in the outdoors. I got a light right here. But I don't have the batteries in it, but I got some batteries in here. You just unscrew it and put the batteries in. You got a little switch. Great little light. Uh, hang up. Got that. Uh, Paracord. What can you do with paracord? Well, you can make a shelter. Use it to tie up a shelter. I've got a tarp in my in my box here. You can use this to tie it up. You know, whatever. There's many, many things you can use for this. With this. Uh, so, that's one of the things paracord's good for. I've got this bag. This is another. This is another Maxpedition bag, uh, and I've got some items in here: water purification tablets. And these things will expire too, so you need to check them. You need to check these. Make sure they're good. These are good. I've got. Uh, little wrench for some reason i think that's from a flashlight one of my flashlights but i don't i've never used it so i'll probably just put it in my toolbox 
Uh, so you got that on this little one. This is a Max Expedition, but I don't keep it on the outside. Open this flap right here. Uh, so I've got some more. I've got some more first aid stuff in here, band-aids and whatnot. Uh, got some more. Got a little, little pry bar to be handy. I've got some batteries in here. I got a little sewing kit. Hey, you never know. You never know. Got a little sewing kit in here. Got a little, uh, another, another ferro rod in here. Got a, got a, uh, signaling mirror. I've got the cover on it, but that's one of the S's. Uh, cleaning towelettes. Got some batteries right here. And these, it's trying to rain, but that's okay. I've got AAA batteries and I've got a flashlight in my pocket. So you need to keep you some triple A's and double A's, but you need to check them because they do go bad sometimes. Uh, and I've also got another, got another ferro rod right here, an echo tack. I guess that's how you pronounce it. And right there. So I like having fire starting stuff because fire makes everything better. So I got all that right here. Got that in this bag here. So in this little pouch, that little pouch, got a whistle. I would suggest you have a whistle. And this whistle has a compass. It also has some waterproof matches in it. More fire stuff. And if you're smart, you can use other things to pack to pack fire stuff. So I got this, and I've got another, you know, another little pry bar. You know, you can use it for different things. I've got this, and I actually made this at Jeff Randall's Wilderness Survival class. Or it might have been, might have been at the Bushcraft. I can't remember which one, but. This thing is razor, it's, it's so pointy, it's made out of bone. It's got a lanyard hole. But you can take this and you can punch holes with it. You know, if you need to make something or whatever, you can punch holes in it. I mean, you can use it as a, as a weapon. You could make, you could take and tie this to a stick or split a stick and put this in there. And you could use it, you know, to stick, stick an animal for food or you can use it to stick a fish, you know. So that's why I have it in here. It's got, got a lot of good uses. Uh, a lot of good uses. So, uh, just just one of the things I like to carry in here. Uh, so, and then this main little, it's, it's got a little drawstring. I keep hearing something behind me, so uh, try to look around a little bit. But I've got some items. One of the things I got is I've got a pad. Got this pad right here. And this this is a nice, nice pad because you can see where it notes I still I took during the navigation class that I kept. And this this has some very good information for you to navigate with a map in this in this little uh notebook. That's why I have it in here. Uh, this is an excellent, excellent. Uh, it's got the declination, uh, stuff to use on a map. It's got your signal and stuff. And this is a very well thought of notebook. Uh, determine the, determining crossing a river. Uh, but it's a, it's a good, uh, it's a good notebook. So there you go. Very good. So, I've also got a little writing rain notebook here, just to write on. If I need to take some notes, uh, got a battery holder. I need to put me some batteries in it. So I got that. Got a little more paracord in here. 
And I've had this, this is actually a military match holder. Uh, this is a Vietnam era that my cousin gave me when I was young, because I was in the scouts. He came back in Vietnam and gave me this. I've had it all these years. And you can see, it's got some waterproof matches in it. I've got, I got fire starting stuff everywhere in this bag. Got this little thing here. This thing's got some tie wraps in it. It's got this little whistle. It's got a couple P-38s, military P-38s, the good ones, not the China made ones. And I've got some string. So, got me some more fishing stuff. And it's in this little Alt Altoids can. So, use your imagination when you're making this stuff. Uh, you know, and if you don't have an imagination, just you can watch YouTube videos. So, got got some different things in this pack. And that's, that's about all I have in here, I believe. Yep. So, uh, good pack. Great pack to have. You need one. If you're going to go in the outdoors, you always need to, which it, this stays in my truck most of the time. I'll get it out from time to time and inspect it. But you need, you need to have a pack with some things to use. And if you use it for outdoor stuff also, which that's what I use this one for. Maxpedition, make good products. You can get on their website and check it out. And, uh, get you one you don't have to get this one they got some bigger sizes they got different colors they got some green ones uh so uh you know you can you can uh, get whatever size you want so uh put you some stuff in it first aid items you know gloves what you know cold weather headgear uh blankets all that good stuff so uh anyway even even some even some of these reading material. So I just wanted to cover that. This is kind of a long video. It's probably going to take a while to load. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this. George Adventure out. Uh, if you like this video, leave me a comment. I know there's going to be some purist people out there that, you know, maybe not agree with what I have. But, hey, that's up to you. I do what I do, what I like, and what I know works. So... Watch these videos. If you like it, subscribe to my channel. If you don't, then don't subscribe. Leave a good comment. Don't don't leave any comments that have profanity or, or you know, political stuff. Subscribe to my channel if you like it. Hit the like button and leave a comment and hit the bell. God bless you. Have a good day.